Hey guys, welcome to .NET Techie. Today I have taken very interesting topic. Previously I have created a video about the CRUD operation in Angular 5. Now so I'm going to explain you how you can use HTTP client module which help us to talk to base API. So I will explain you the code, how to perform get operation, post operation, put operation and delete operation. And uh, in Angular 5. So let's so uh, yeah, my next slide over here. This is the code for HTTP get method. So how it is calling this word HTTP client. From where HTTP client came, I will explain in you in the code editor. So HTTP client dot get and I am getting what I am doing the type casting over here. So this is the benefit of this HTTP client module, where uh, your module uh, you can. Uh, bind the type as well in the HTTP call itself. So this dot API URL is my the URL where uh, my dev API is running and I'm subscribing that data whatever the data is coming I am assigning to this dot inventory dot item. So this is HTTP get method code. Let me show you the post method code what the post method is it is expecting me to supply the URL and what is the object you would like to pass over here so this is nothing the body of the post method Again, once you post it, you subscribe it, whatever the result is coming, I'm holding into global response variable. Then, if any error is coming, I'm coming to this block, and this dot msgs is my one uh, prime ng control, which is showing me the pop up kind of error. And this is the success part. This is the success part, which says that whatever the item I had posted, and it is returning me the same item from my dev API. And if ID is matching, I'm showing a success message. After that, this is the part where I'm calling HTTP get client. So after uh, after uh, posting it, basically, I am uh, again binding my grid data. Okay, so this is about post. Similarly, for put also, you need to put and then supply the ID, then into the body, you supply what is the object. Again, subscribe it. If it is an error, it will fall to this block. If it is not an error, it will fall to this block. We will match the ID. If ID is matching, it's success and we are showing success also. After that, again, we are calling HTTP. So again, refresh my grid over here. And in the delete method, HTTP client dot delete method, this dot API URL ID, then I am supplying the ID which item I would like to delete. Then again, subscribe, error, and success part. This is about the code itself over here. Let me take you to the my editor, which is uh, Visual Studio Code, and uh, basically run my application, which will be taking some time. So I said the uh, ng sharp over here, and it will run my project. Meanwhile, this is my Dev API service. I will run this as well. So let's see. What ng prime is doing over here, ng service is doing over here, ng service just it, start, it will start my project into some particular instance of the browser. This is localhost 4200 for me, and uh, my VS is a little bit slow. So let's see. I switch off a again and starting my instance of my service. So this is uh, my service which is gonna to run over here. And this is my web API project, which is only done. Let me tell you one thing. Meanwhile, this thing is happening in the background. What is the important thing which we are doing over here? First of all, in order to use HTTP service call, you need to include this guy over here in your module.ts, which is HTTP client module. It is coming from at the rate angular slash common slash HTTP. So this is the uh, man behind the scene which helps you to call the RESTful service. And in Angular 5 onwards, you have to use HTTP client module because there is no HTTP module in this one. It is there, but it will be deprecated very soon. So the latest way to call HTTP service is HTTP client module. You need to inject import HTTP client module over here. And once you have imported that HTTP uh, module, you write that HTTP client module over here in the import section. Okay, so this is what you need to do in the module.ts. Okay, that's well and good. And let's see app component.ts. So, in order to use this HTTP client module, what we have done, we have injected this HTTP client, HTTP client module over here. 
and in my constructor of the component here i'm telling what is private http client is a type of http client which will help me to call the restful service so here is the http client let's go to the method which helps me to call insert let's say insert me post method so my post method is getting called via this particular block where it is written on insert so on insert what is exactly happening the same code which i showed in the slide first of all i am collecting all the values from the forms which i would like to post so here this is the part which is helping me to collect the value of the forms which i would like to post so this is how I have extracted the value from uh, form control and taken into the variable. Then I have assigned into the my class constructor to this object I have created, which I am posting over here. This dot SPTP client. From where is this SPTP client is here? As I shown you in my constructor, we have injected SPTP client over here. So let's see, this is a guy which is giving me the SPTP post method. Which we are trying to follow. Them. So this guy gives me a TTP post method. I call it by supplying API URL. API URL is nothing but my inventory service URL. This is the item which I am supplying over here. Then I am subscribing the response, whatever the response comes from there. Then if it is the error block, it is falling to this, and this is MSPS is nothing but the prime ng component drawable message value which is coming as a pop-up for some milliseconds you can say so how long you would like to have your this is the very best thing in this one where if the method comes and goes away without clicking on anything that's really this is the success part if it is success i'm just matching whatever the client whatever the inventory i have for inventory item i have posted over for there this is matching or not if it is matching if it is such it is success because I have written in uh, written the base API in such a way where it should return me the same model what I have sent uh, to my base API. So this is the part. So and after that I am calling this get method over here. So this is I have completed post and get. So get method why I am calling after posting the data into the form I am refreshing my grid. That's why I am calling this post method. So this is the explanation about get and post method and how you can use them. Okay, so let's go to the uh, basically put method. So uh, this is the put method that you know here. In put method, what I need, I need a whole uh, basically in, in order to update it, I need I need the ID which ID you would like to update. And uh, ID is like uh, I want ID particular ID. So this dot API URL and in query string I'm sending the ID and then I'm sending the object to so the body of the object in the same manner. And SPTP client dot put I am calling again subscribing it error and then success block. So this is about my put block. Okay, let's go to the delete block. See, here is the delete block. It says give me the ID which object you would like to delete it from the database. And this is again saying SPTP client dot delete and API URL. I'm passing the ID, subscribing that particular response. Then this is the error section. And this is the success section which I am going into the message. So this is my uh, about my project. How SPTP client get post put is what makes it get up, and it gives you the CRUD operation application. So let me show you what UI looks like. So maybe if you have not seen my previous video, this is where uh, this is what I am particularly doing over here, and uh, this is how UI is looking. Okay, so this is my UI, which is consuming my RESTful service and uh, giving you so the basic operation to you. This is new item. It shows me the pop-up. Let's say I'm adding something test and code is test and required quantity is 20 and the unit price is 10 and description let's say something and it's kind of let's say tools and I'm just inserting this particular uh, have clicked on insert button and it should insert this particular value on my database and uh, let me make sure that my service is running yeah so service is running this method is running and it should post my this particular value to my database in the crowd operation video i have already shown this thing so this is how it is working and it has posted this particular data over here 
and it is the it has got to the data as well. 